I was on my way to the islands of Vanuatu, in particular one island, the island of Tanna, and I was going there because it had a volcano on it and I was going to climb it. Meanwhile, the weather was good, the sailing was good, and life was good. At one point I was becalmed, but that afforded me this, a special treat. The water was iridescent blue, with the light from the sun shining down into the abyss. Pretty awesome. Well, we're still becalmed, doing a few jobs. Got to get my courtesy flag ready to put up. But I'll put it up now. Meanwhile, the old courtesy flag for Fiji, that's done well. I bought that from uh, a shop called Arthur's Emporium in, in uh, New Zealand. It's like ultra cheap, because um, I knew I was only going to be there a couple of uh, months, because they're, they're hellish expensive, these things. You go to a lot of countries, it soon mounts up. But hey, did, did the job. Excellent, right, so uh, back to this screwdriver and a bit of patience threading that through there is going to take quite a while that'll do that'll keep the bureaucrats happy meanwhile if you can just see that over there about there that is a volcano-y island thing. It's not the one we're going to. That one's up uh, there about 60 miles. Uh, but I was going to be avoiding that last night at 3 o'clock in the morning, but we never even got to it. Uh, it actually should be uh, on our port side. We're just, as I said before, we're, we're becalmed and just swinging lazily around waiting for the wind. And it's super hot. Having a go at this, these are mung beans. Uh, from these you get the, uh, the Chinese bean shoot kind of things that you often see in the supermarket. I've grown them before. I didn't realize that I'd left the thing in the sun. I should have watered it. Bad me. The thing is where I had them, that was in the shade like it is now, but with the boat swinging around so much, what was in the shade became in the sun for a while. And I hadn't noticed. Anyway, I think I saved them. It's supposed to be just a little bit of water. They soak up a lot of water anyway. Um, and just cover them up lightly. And uh, just leave them to their own devices. And we should have uh, vegetation very soon, I hope. Some ugly looking stuff over there. But luckily for me, it's downwind. And is of no concern. What is of concern to me, however, is the fact that I'm still in the same piece of ocean nearly for three days now, waiting for the wind, and it's finally sort of coming. I actually got full sail up today, um, and we're moving, and it's much better than it was. Last night I slept most of the night, we were stopped again, and where I am there's, there's no traffic, we're sort of in between some islands and stuff, so I felt safe enough to sleep the whole night, I needed to sleep, and we weren't really moving. And I zigzagged, I went, I've been mean, doing what I've done before in the past, go up and down the same line, uh, not able to get any angles to sail, no wind. And this morning, um, downloaded the weather, and it says there's more wind than there is actually at the moment, and it's from a different angle than it is at the moment, so it's still not great. But I'm heading towards that little island this morning, the one that looks like a volcano that you can't really see because it's just that too far away for the camera. And uh, I was just sitting there thinking of things, and then something really cool happened. I need to be up there, and the island was there in front of me, and the wind was pushing me down that way, and I need to go up that way. So I'm thinking I need a bit of advice. Uh, I'm, I'm fed up with making my own decisions. Who can I ask? And I remember my uncle, uh, we used to call him Gibby, Uncle Gibby and uh, he was a great favorite of mine sadly missed and uh, he was a sailor and i never got to sail with him and i thought i ought to ask him uh, and immediately i thought of him a voice in my head said pull the rest of the mainsail up dummy <laughs> you'd get that sail up now so i did do and uh, things improved and then i looked at the island that was off the starboard bow there and i said i just need that 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 island's beyond the port bow, which means I'm going to be making a better course. That was a gust wind and the boat turned. And the island's on the port now. 
That's sweet. <laughs> yeah, so I'm selling with my Uncle Gibby today. He's helping me out. Uh, you know, you got to take the help where you can get it, and that's that's the best help I can have right now. You can just see it there. More finger pointing. There, island, <laughs> rainbow. It's all there, look. Thank you, Uncle Gibby. I only made the last uh, little bit of video about 20 minutes ago. How quickly things change. Uh, there's, a, there's a nasty looking squally rain thing coming down on top of me now. Luckily I've got lots of sea room on the bright side. I've got lots of sea room so I can turn away. It's not like back in Fiji where you'd have a reef on the other side and you were constrained. Just waiting for this stormy thing to come through. And I've put full sail up. Maybe I shouldn't have listened to my uncle there. <laughs> I might have to take it, put a reef in again. I think I'm just going to weather it with this, with the sail up. Go away, go, oi, off, go, please. Hello, mate. How's it going? Okay. Yeah. Are you are you from the islands? Yeah. Can you do something about this weather, please? Oh, here it comes. I've left the mainsail up. I don't know if that was a mistake or not. That's it, we'll get into it. Wind's picking up. <sighs> oh, Turby's going mad. But up there, and not generating any power. It's, we should stop doing that because well, the fridge has gone off with no power on very little power on board because there's no sun there's blue there's blue over there very much coming this way i'm hoping it's not gonna last too long that's kind of the reason for me not to uh, taking the the sail down another reef apart from being lazy is um i feel it's not gonna last too long if it gets really bad i can steer downwind I've got the sea room to do it. Uh, if you sit, steer downwind, like across it and down, that takes the power out of it. Um, and I've done that many, many times in the Caribbean. That's uh, what you do. But I think, I think this is um, this is not too bad. I think I made the right decision. I'll leave everything the way it was. We're certainly moving now. I strapped him down using a boat hook. He's got to work now. It's crazy. Well, all the wind and he wouldn't work. He's just revolving. I think what it is is because he's on the downside of the mainsail. So, uh, but I so I forced him to work now. But we need the electricity because the fridge is going off. My beer's getting warm. Hey, well that's downwind. There's the storm. And we come over to the other side of the boat, you can see that it's a nice sunny day. And everything's going to be great. And there's another rainbow up there. Oh, lovely, lovely, lovely. Okay, so we're good. But is the course good? Just on my way back to look at the compass and saw that one. He's behind us, so that's of no concern. But uh, it's going to be the tenure of things at the moment, I think. Now peace has come back to the boat for the moment. It's time to check these. Do you remember I... Uh, oh! Yeah, these are mung, mung beans. You see that? That's brilliant. They're sprouting. Can you see that? That's awesome. What I'm going to do is wash them through and put some more water on. I mean, they're, they're, that's brilliant. That's awesome. Fresh vegetables. This really is a game changer. Right, a bit of rinsiness and then I'll um, I'll sieve them over the side look at that I tell I'm turning into a bit of a, a hippie in my old age that's natural food grown grown on the boat oh no oh I just spilled them oh no 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 this whole area of the Pacific from Tonga to Fiji to Vanuatu is alive with volcanic activity 
And a lot of these islands look like volcanoes because they are volcanoes. Not all of them active though. Just zipped up the front, getting everything under cover. Uh, another squall coming in. I got full sails up and I'm wondering if I should take some of it down. Uh, yeah, 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 I don't know. I can see bright behind it. So I'm hoping again that it'll be a fairly short one. And to save myself getting the sails up and down, I'm taking a little bit of risk here. I, I think we're okay. It's, this is, as I said before, this is not the Caribbean. So far, so good. We're not on our ear or anything like that. We're not leaning right over. Kind of going downwind. Island's behind us now. Take the power out of the sails. It got kind of nasty there just for a second. Uh, yeah. Just gonna hang on like this for a bit. There's less power in the uh, the sails when they're going downwind. So we'll just ride this uh, rocket going down like this for a bit now. Oh, 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 oh. Hold on, baby. Is that it or is there more? Even though I'm in the tropics with all the salty spray coming over and the wind, I was beginning to get chilled and that's the last thing I wanted. Time to suit up, get the foulies on, keep myself warm. So the island's behind us and that's upwind and that's good weather. And you can see uh, that's kind of over now. It's down in front of us, moving away from us. I can turn back up in the wind. There's a little island. I'd come around it from up here and I was due to come down here and then take off in this line here uh, when, the, when the wind changed later on. Well, the wind has changed, I think, because instead of coming down here, we're now going over there. Then again, the wind changed and pushed me towards that little island again. I hadn't checked in, so I wasn't allowed to stop there. I think it was a sanctuary anyway. I was headed for another island further up the way called Tanner, so I had to get round this island. Couldn't film it. It's always a messy situation and a little bit scary, but got two reefs in the, in the main cell. Got it right down now. I'm beginning to think of that place as doom and gloom island, I tell you. It looks like... It looks like death, it's all dark and mischievous and horrible and it's windy and nasty. There is a windless zone which I was going to go up to but I managed to get the work done here. I don't want to get too close to it because some of these are nature reserves. I don't know if, if we're allowed, I don't want to get in trouble. Look at the boat bouncing. Look at that. Okay, uh, I can reel in the foresail when I need to. I'm just leaving it for the minute, get a bit of power and we're going to go out, downwind, and just ready for the night. And we'll see what, what happens. I'm almost ready to give up on the, uh, the island I was trying to get to, which is a shame because it's got volcanoes on it. Then with renewed enthusiasm, I had to get around Doom and Gloom Island because I had that date on Tanner with a volcano, a date I didn't want to miss. It's 4.30 in the morning, around about there. Um, I've got to winch in the foresail because I'm headed for land. I'm 10 miles off and I'm doing four knots. It's too fast. I have to slow the boat down uh, before daylight uh, and then I can uh, <laughs> see what I'm doing. No one wants to approach anything in the dark. Yeah, somewhere over there is the island of Tanner. Well, I know where it is. It's exactly in front of me, exactly 10 miles away. Can't see it, it is dark. Here we are, there's the port. Gonna try and get in here, wind is coming in this direction. That's what it looks like in real life. This is the 22 knots I thought was gonna come and it came just at the wrong time, just before I get into port. You couldn't have planned it better if you were trying to screw my day up. And I need to go forward and I need to get the anchor sorted out. 
but I can't really do that now because it's too rough. I'm going to go ashore or go close to shore with enough sea room on my downward side that if I get into trouble I can just literally hoist a sail and drift out. This is pretty dreadful. This is nasty, nasty, nasty stuff. And I'm scared, by the way. Just talked to a couple of boats, um, an English guy, I think, and an Australian guy. Um, and um, they say that it's all good in there. Um, it's, it's all uh, peaceful and calm. And I said, it's not out here, but uh, hey, no. So that's, so I know I can get in. Uh, they say it's easy entrance, just come on in and uh, you'll be good. Um, so just, we're just gonna charge a camera and uh, get around this headland and get the sail down. Oh, there's another alarm going off. It's a wild and woolly place, that's for sure. Over there, that's not cloud. That's the smoke from the volcano we've come to see. That's why we're here. Gotta get that down before it does damage to my face. it's all down she's on she's on a lot of revs at the moment i'm fighting this sea to get just a tiny bit of a mile per hour out of this and we've got another mile and a bit to go and we're going past a steaming volcano this is what uh, adventure stories are made of but i'd rather be in bed with a cup of cocoa yes Right, I just stopped the boat by the entrance. Okay, back in gear. The reason I stopped the boat was to prepare the anchor. That's because when you go through an entrance like this, especially when there's a lot of wind, you want that anchor ready to drop. What happens if the engine suddenly stops? That's what you have to think. So I'd finally arrived at my destination. This is the island of Tanna, one of the few places in the world you can get close up and personal with a volcano. Next time on Adventures of an Old Sea Dog, this. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. If you have, please subscribe and press the notifications bell. Many, many thanks to my patrons for their wonderful support over the years, keeping this channel afloat. Thanks to you again for watching. Uh, for more information and real-time updates, I'm on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Until next time, take care of yourselves.